Hello students, in this video we will see uh, how to convert to an isometric diagram into an orthographic one. So they will give a sketch here and uh, they will show one direction. The short direction we need to draw the front view and they are asking for right side view. So means we need to see from this side and it comes to the left side and we need to draw the top view of this one. So how to go with this one? So we'll see. Uh, whenever we want to have the orthographic projection, let's say like it is, we are going to have so four quadrants. Okay. So let's say like we move this line a little bit further so that we can drop the front view here, top view here, and right side we will come to the left side here. Okay. So here they have shown in this direction. In the front view, there will be one L shape and with the one line here. Okay. So first see the height, that's a 60 and width of this one will be 45 and the thickness of this one is of 50 and the width of this one is also a 15. Okay. Let's say like we start from here. So it's a 45, enter 0. Okay. Then the thickness of this one 50, enter 90. Okay, so then again, so 45 here and 50 minus 15 here. Okay, so it comes a 30. So we'll say 30 enter minus 180 enter minus 180 enter. Then from here goes up. Okay, that is 60 minus of this thickness. That's a 15. Okay, so it is 60 60 minus. 15 it is 45 again so 45 enter 90 enter so then again the thickness of this one is of 15 enter minus 180 enter so come down okay you can see this l shape okay let's check the dimensions here first this is 45 fine so this is 60 fine so then this is 15 fine then again this is 15 fine okay so then there's a line here okay which connects from end of this one to the end of this one so that's how exactly we can see the front view of this object in this way okay one l shape with the one center line okay so now the thickness of these things will not be visible for us. Okay, those things will be visible from the right side view. So next, whenever we are going to have the side view, so we'll take it from here. So the width of this one is now it's a 60. Okay, and this is a 45. So when you see from here, okay, the width of this will be of 60. Enter. Enter. So this is done. This will be of 60. Then the width of this one will be of 45, which will not be visible for us. The height of this one will be of 60 again. Okay. So we'll have one round up here. 60. Okay, so we can see one uh, square block with a 60 and 60. Okay, so now there is a one uh, wedge, okay, which is at the center, which is located from 23 mm from each side. Okay, what we can do from here, we'll take a line from here, 23 enter, 0 enter. Okay, so we'll have one line till here and we can offset the same line. We can go to the offset. The distance is 14 and single this line. Click OK this side. Okay. So now we can see the whole width of this one along with the two edges. Okay. So this is how exactly the right side we will be visible so what we can do this is 60 
this is 60 and the width of this one will be of 14 okay so that's how exactly we can see in the right side view okay so in the top view how it looks so now to draw the top view you see it is 60 then it comes 45 then again 60 45 so what we can do here in this line we'll take 45 then we'll take a 60 and again 45 minus 180 yeah. okay so now this thickness again it is on the same line you can just take a alignment indicator and there will be a line which is visible here this thickness and there will be two lines okay which runs again exactly 23 okay 23 means that is from this corner it is 23 enter 90 enter line and again offset 14 this line with a single click center and it has selected as a chain link so line offset it's single this line okay this side okay. so now select everything without the dimension make it a 0.5 okay so this is how exactly it will be visible in the top view now check out the dimensions here 60 this width and this is a 45 and the location of this one will be of a 23 okay the thickness of this one width of this one will go with the distance between from here to here we'll leave it as a 15 so that is the thickness what we can have it here okay so to just to check like we can have it in this way also enter minus 90 everything is running perfectly so this line will go over here this line will come here and this line will join to here okay so that's how exactly we can other the top front and the right side view so we can write here this is a fv this is a r right side view and this is a top view okay so that's how exactly we can have the orthographic projection for a given isometric view and it's a very simple you need to just drop you can uh, take a paper with the free hand you can just draw and later you can easily transfer that into the uh, drawing that is also easy for us okay so thank you